Oh my gosh. Hi guys, I gotta hurry up this intro. Uh, I'm going to a thrift. I did not plan to vlog today. Uh, it's actually like 9 in the morning. So I had to wake myself up. As you guys know, uh, in the vlogs before, Candy's Closet is uh, a go-to in my vlogs. One of my most viewed videos is actually from Candy's Closet. And they just opened up a bigger store here in Dumaguete. And they just texted that today is like they're opening, they have new arrivals. So I decided to wake up and vlog and bring you guys along. So I don't wanna, I gotta go. So I don't wanna talk too much because time is running. So I'll see you guys there. By the way, this shirt, 19, 1989, one of my oldest shirt for 35 pesos. All right, bye, I gotta go see you there. That's great, I'm rushing and we got a flat. Oh my gosh, the day that I decide that I will wake up early for a okay vlog and this happens. Problems in life. One eternity later. Alright y'all, let's get this show on the road! Let's go! You guys know this place, Kenny's Closet, and they just opened right there. Can you read that? US Surplus. Ah, let's go please Lord, please. This is legit like a vintage thrift store. Look at all this stuff. Ooh. I might have to cop this mirror too. I'm using the phone guys because I don't want to carry the camera all around. But look at this place. There are no clothes. But there is a piano though. Dang, there's no clothes. Oh, what to do? Alright, so they're gonna open the clothes area. Thank God, at one. So for in the meantime, I'm just gonna check these out. Baby Jesus right here. Look, uh, what is this called? Manger? Christmas vibes. I also got these plates. I know my audience is not, you know, used to this stuff, but maybe someone out there want to buy some super fire plates. Christmas is just around the corner. Got Santa over there. Also got some. I don't know if they're used or brand new, but look at all that. Coffee's life. So I'm just gonna look around here, and then at one o'clock will be the first one in the line. They have tennis rackets, guys. If any of y'all play tennis, I don't know. These are good, right? Wilson's? I'm pretty sure Wilson's are the good ones. So, come through. Check this out. Oh, this one looks so good in the store. Be right. 1967. Oh my goodness, yeah. 1967. It's finding so much good ones. Look at this. 1962, 1966. Look at these boys. Guess I saw that already. These guys. We got more. This one is uh, the the t-shirt, the yellow t-shirt. Shout out Vaughn, he had one. And then this one, there's like a black vintage tee that goes with this and that. And then it's this a signature? No, it's not. <laughs> Dang, I'm so tempted to buy all this, you guys, for the store. All right, guys, so there is a few more minutes left. I think I'm going to be the first one in line. So hopefully that's a good sign. Oh, yeah, first in line, baby. Oh, by the way, he just arrived. And Kimberly. Look at all these hats in there. Harley Davidson, made in the USA. Dead stock condition. Might have to cop. Wait, so what tag is that? Oh, this was XL. This would probably have resale value. XL small. <laughs> and they have Levi's here. Look at this. I've been into that baggy life recently. Might have to pick one up. Dang, they got tons of Levi's in here. Oh, they are all Levi's. I'm not even familiar with the numbers, you guys. The 504, the 215, and the 633, like that but I bet there are some really good ones here. So I'm gonna check them out. Uh, the Ultimate Warrior, copyright 2017. <laughs> Come on. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> artwork right here, bro. Oh! Sign receiver. Jeez! You guys, it's kind of expensive here, but you can see there are a lot of shirts. Most of them are not vintage, sadly. Um, 
if you guys are ever in Duma, just come. They're pretty expensive as of now, eight nine nine, because I think they just opened. But eventually, they will lower the price. But I'm just happy that we got to be here to see it. But there's a definitely a ton of T-shirts, as you can see. The branded ones, none, not really a, a lot of vintage like that. Vans, they have Forever Twenty One, all that stuff. So there's still good selection, but it's just not you know okay prices but it's all good at least we got to see it and come here uh candy's closet by where is this called motong yeah something like that so definitely drop by you guys look at this shirt i just found a life hack so this shirt is a printed tag that means it's definitely not vintage but it does say 1981 so you could definitely trick people and be like yo i got this vintage shirt cotton candy Super nice, but it's just so expensive. 899. This one too. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just gonna show you guys these shirts, alright? I don't plan on buying because they are Texan Cosmilo Single Stitch. Oh, bro, look at that. Look at that. Ball Single there. stitch. And this is thick. Look at the quality it's like is definitely nice vibe. You see the back? No back? No back. But the, yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. legit. It's kind of tight, right? Does it feel tight? No? It's good? Dang. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And below, which one is your childhood TV show? For me, definitely this. Me and my sister would just binge watch on that. This is on a Nickelodeon tag, I think. Yeah. But the back. Nostalgic. Not vintage, but dang, does this look good? Oh. Guys, I'm trying to refrain from like buying something that has no resale value. But when I see shirts like this that fit so well, I can't help it. <laughs> anyway, so you guys, should I cop or not? I don't know. What size is that? Eleven. Oh, no, wait. it's nice. Oh, so. I've been playing badminton a lot, so I'm gonna have to. I think they're. Yeah, this is good for badminton. I'm actually wearing them right now. <laughs> Found some J's. This is like a Jordan 7 Fusion. I don't know, it's not a 7, but it's a 7 vibe. This is the Sun of Mars. I think it's the Sun of Mars. So this is the 6, the 7, the 5, the 20. Oh, see that? I'm gonna educate y'all. I bet you didn't even know that. This is a combination of all those. Oh what my god, look at that. Oh. My size. <laughs> swag! Ooh. You have the swag. Is... Are you hinting something, girl? The prophecy is true. No, like, oh, bro, you, bro. Congratulations, bro. So right now everything is kind of expensive there because they did just open October 28th. So I, unfortunately I didn't buy anything because you gotta wait. They'll definitely be on sale in a couple of weeks, maybe months. But as of now, they are, it's not resale worthy. It's just a, you gotta buy it for yourself. But it's okay, it was a good, they had a good selection. It's all good. Oh, look at this place. This is new. Duma Gete has a place like this? Dang, this place is nice. Wow. They sell shoes. They even have fear of God here. Oh, you got the, the brown all-stars. Dang. I got some shirts in here too. This is my first time coming here. How much? 700 for this? Not bad. Oh. I might have to stay here for a while, go shopping. So we're at the store. We got some for sale. He did all consignment. This Ultra Boost size 9. There's issue here. It's already, what's it called? They sold it. Like 1.5 for this. Brand new. Puma. 2.5k got a jordan v2 low i used to have this in college this one 3k for this used once i think yeah pretty pretty good condition 3k i don't know about that and last one is reebok 
me see what this is. Free socks. Oh, Spider Man. Okay. Hey, so I forgot to do an outro to end the vlog. I'm currently editing at 2 30 in the morning for you guys, but gotta put this video out. But, anyways, that's pretty much it on the vlog. Like I said earlier, it was way too expensive. Uh, they're pretty new, so we'll come back for sure in another time. So don't worry, we'll definitely cop some. But that's pretty much it on the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. See you guys in the next video. God bless and take care out there. Peace.